Today, we'll be reviewing how to create knowledge base articles within Cloud Radial. Knowledge base articles, also known as KB articles, can be a big help for documentation and training purposes. You can set the KB area as a home page from the feature set, but note that they'll also be visible if you've got the support home page enabled, like I do. Here they are on the home page. To create a new KB article, let's head over to Partner and Content on the left hand side of the feature sets. They're located under the first section, called Articles. Here, we can see that I've already got a few articles within content packages that are pushed out to specific user groups and company groups. I'll include a link for both of those things in the description below. Let's go ahead and add a new one. To do that, I'll start by clicking Add at the top right. We're going to select Article for my content type. Next, the name. This is only visible to you, so make it something you can easily identify. For this example, we'll be creating an About Us article to push to all of our clients. We can also choose the user groups we'd like to push it out to. By default, you'll have everyone in admin preloaded for every client. You can always create new user groups to push out content to, but that's another tutorial. I've linked it below. I'll skip the description and optional checkboxes, as I don't really need them for this example. As for company groups, I'll go ahead and make it available to all company groups. Now I'll click Submit. There it is at the very top. Now that the content package is created, which functions a lot like a folder, we'll need to actually put the article within it. I'll go into it, and I'll click Add at the top right just like before. The Category field dictates which folder the content falls under on the client side. I'll pull up the existing account side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. On the home page here, we can see several knowledge base articles. Communications is a category, and how to video call on Skype is the name of the article. If we go back to our menu, we can see that that correlates. In Category, I'll name this Welcome Info. And since the subject is the name of the article, I'll go ahead and call it About Digital Efforts. You can also tag the articles if you'd like them to be sorted by certain content. It's useful for when you've got lots of content and you'd like to sort it, but I'll skip it for this time. I'll also set the author and publish date. Now, time to write the article. There are a few ways to tackle this. I can use the built-in text editor to create a message. I can also embed a video directly into this article that suits my purposes using this embed link. Alternatively, I can also pull information directly from a web page, as long as it's publicly available through the internet and not locked behind password protection. If I do it this way, the page will be pulled in as an embedded PDF, but you can also select the link to open automatically in a new window if you so choose. I'll set it as cloud radial so we can see what it looks like. Finally, the last two checkboxes will indicate whether or not the articles will be pinned at the top. Stylistically, these will be bolded. The second option will pin it to the sidebar on the right-hand side of the home screen. Once we're happy with the article, we can click Submit and then Publish. Now let's head back to the home screen and see if it worked. If we scroll down, we can see Welcome Info at the bottom here. With About Digital Efforts bolded, it's already at the top of its own category. Note that knowledge base articles are arranged alphabetically. If I click on it, we can see the web page pulled through as a PDF. You can also create individual knowledge base articles for individual clients. To do that, we'll need to go to the source of the knowledge base articles, which is located under Company on the left-hand side of the feature set and Knowledge Base. Click on Add at the top right. You'll follow a lot of the steps just like before to create company-specific articles. Note that if you create them this way, they won't show up within Partner and Content because they're specific to just one company. Be sure to create helpful articles to improve user experience and keep your users trained.